drag controversy. Everyone's telling me, Blair, when are you going to address drag being banned in Tennessee? And so I say, wow, that seems a little extreme. Drag in art form, a performance was banned by a state. Wow, I'm, I, best, I must go look at this. And then, of course, you look and it's a lie. Drag was not banned in Tennessee. Drag was restricted to over 18 venues, not even 21, not even a nightclub, just an over 18 plus venue. So we're going to get to that. But first, very controversial drag show for toddlers is making the rounds on Twitter. Let's watch. Super child friendly. Yes, toddlers love watching grown men twerk. Yeah, bust it open for those toddlers, girl. Yes. Killing it. Slay. Yes, mama. So. <laughs> I've seen even a lot of leftists post this and be like, actually, what is happening? Super disgusting. And at some point, we need to have the conversation about about why it is an overwhelmingly white, upper middle class female thing to take your kids to drag shows. A lot of single moms in there. Where are the dads? Why are they all white? And you can get mad at that, but if this is what it is. Other cultures are not falling for this, right? Ain't no black parents taking their kids to watch a grown man bust it open for their kids. Ain't no Hispanic families taking their kids to watch this, by and large. Why are you making it about race? Sorry, I'm, I'm observing it. It is a white upper middle class liberal woman thing that is occurring here. And at some point, y'all just need to be ready to have that conversation. Clearly you're not, but it's fine. Um, I tweeted that taking your kids to a drag show to teach them how to respect gay people is like taking them to a strip club to teach them how to respect women. You're not doing what you think you're doing here. It's not really having the effect you think it is. Because if it really were about, about you know, teaching them to not be homophobic and respect gay people or whatever, why aren't all these white liberal mothers creating events with gay astronauts speaking to these kids, gay lawyers, gay politicians, gay doctors, right? Where are all the wholesome, like, gay married scientists speaking to kids about how you can be whatever you want to be in this life? No, they take them to bottom of the barrel, dusty, crusty, musty drag shows with performers that are likely on their seventh day of their seven-day bender. Sorry, I, I lived in LA. I met every, almost every famous drag queen from RuPaul's Drag Race. And these are the top-tier, high-end, like good enough to get on television, touring the world drag queens. The overwhelming majority of them are heavy drug users. The overwhelming majority of them are absolute messes. Not a wholesome bone in their body. And that's fine. Different lifestyles for everyone, right? I don't judge that, actually. They're fun to party with. But these are not exactly people I would want entertaining my kids, especially toddlers. And that's the top tier elites. These are, these are broke down performers people find off Instagram. And get in a warehouse to bust it open in front of five-year-olds. Again, busted, crusted, disgusted. I don't know. I don't know, guys. Again, if this were about really teaching respect for gay people, there's a lot of different events you could hold rather than this. This, this, is, this is disgusting. And white liberal women are so blinded by... 
Oh, a fabulous gay man in a wig and makeup. Oh my God, he's prettier than me, they say. That's also what they say when they find out I'm trans. Oh my God, she's prettier than me. White liberal women are so obsessed with men in makeup. And all their defenses are lowered when that happens. They see them as these like spiritual like creatures. No, they are grown men busting it open in front of your kids, busted, crusted, and disgusted. If it was just a man dressed as a man, you'd be pretty disgusted, right? Well, why do high heels and a party city wig change that? I, I, I don't understand. So again, there's this lie going around that Tennessee bans drag, right? No, they reserve it to 18 plus clubs. And if you think that that's unreasonable, I guess that's your opinion. My opinion is it's really not. Especially so long as this stuff is going on, right? Because in the age of the internet, you can actually see what's going on. So if there was ever an argument that drag is this wholesome performance. And granted, I'm not denying that there is probably a wholesome way to do it. I mean, I don't think that just inherently sitting on a stage in a dress and a wig makes you sexually obscene. I don't believe that. But part of the essence of drag is being offensive, being overly sexual, hypersexual. You know, every other joke out of their mouth is about dick. You watch RuPaul's Drag Race, every, th- every other thing out of their mouth is some innuendo about, you know, like butt stuff, innuendo about male genitalia, and, like everything is about that. That's part of drag culture. And if you want to convince me that's a culture that's f- child friendly, I just, I don't agree with you. And when any other demographic other than dumb, white, liberal women start agreeing with you, maybe I'll take some heat on that. But no one else is falling for it except them. It's it's funny, you know, again, going back to the fact that I'm in this like very unique position of being a trans person on the right. It's like lately on a daily basis, I'm getting all these DMs. Blair, when are you going to condemn this anti-trans legislation in this state? This anti-drag legislation in this state? When are you gonna-? And then I, I, I go and Google, wow, something must be going on. I go and Google, banning sex changes for minors, making drag 18 and over. Right. So you're telling me the thing that I've spent my entire career fighting for, I'm supposed to be mad about actually putting it into policy, putting it into legislation that's passing? When the bill in Oklahoma was introduced that did not pass, that wanted to make it 26 and below to transition, guess who made that an entire segment on my podcast and spoke out against it? Because I don't agree with taking rights away from adults. I'm not going to be mad about reserving drag shows to 18 over clubs. I agree with that. I'm not going to be mad about banning sex changes from my eyes. I agree with that. And it's not anti-trans legislation. It's child protection legislation. That's what it is. And because conservatives are assholes about trans people doesn't change that. I don't agree with sex changes for minors. I'm not going to suddenly hop fences because conservatives have called me a man on Twitter. I'm not going to do that. That doesn't make sense to me. And it shouldn't make sense to you if you're being an honest person and you're coming at this in good faith. Oh my God, you guys were so right. I've been so wrong about everything. I, I got called a man on Twitter, so that means child sex changes are okay. Are you, are you stupid? Make it make sense. It's not. Canadian trans shop teacher with massive prosthetic breasts no longer teaching at school. This story is absolutely insane. So a picture came out, <laughs> as you can see, with the shop teacher out of school, dressed completely like a man, no wig, no big prosthetic giddies. Man, I'm really firing on conservatives this uh, episode because I have another thing to say about them. I was so annoyed and I've been so annoyed with conservatives on Twitter and on social media being so quick to be like, oh, he's just trolling you guys. It's fine because he's trolling and he's great because they saw one 4chan post. 
from months ago. Literally, this is their evidence. One 4chan commenter saying, guys, he's trolling. I know him. And that's enough evidence for all these conservatives to be like, oh, he's just trolling. No, this is actually a fetishist that was playing out their fetish in front of children in a school. And because of pro progressive ideology and policy was allowed to continue to do that. And conservatives just found it funny because he was just trolling and actually making a great point. Okay, if you're making a great point involves wearing sex gear and fetish gear around kids, I don't care for you to make your point. Like, go make your point somewhere else. Don't involve kids in a school. That's what I didn't get. All these conservatives are like, no, you guys, you don't get it. He's based. He's just trolling the school system. By wearing fetish gear around children. Great point to be made there. What a hero. Quickly, it's amazing how quickly like the protect the kids thing went out the way. Oh, he's just trolling. He's one of our guys. Oh, because one 4chan post from six months ago said that. Okay. <laughs> Makes a lot of sense. Anyways, I've been saying, which is now obvious, this guy was not trolling. This was a fetishist. And yeah, just because it has a cartoonish looking appearance and it seems so otherworldly doesn't mean it's not a legitimate fetishist. But because Canada's so cucked, what got him fired was the fact that he wasn't wearing that fetish gear outside of school. What? What? So he should have been... <laughs> so as long as you commit to wearing this fetish gear that is so inappropriate to be around kids, you can stay employed. But if you don't do it around the kids, then you're fired. Make it make sense. Because it's not making sense. Miss girl. Miss thing. Miss bitch. What? Again, this story is absolutely insane. I mean, shout out to everyone who was so willing to throw out the protect the kids mantra because he's one of our guys. He's trolling. Cool. Well, if you have to troll by forcing bunch of kids to sit in a classroom day after day with fetish gear we don't really need your troll there's a lot of other ways whatever point could have been made rather than that and that wasn't even the intention it's clearly just a guy acting on a fetish around kids hey if you guys enjoyed that short clip from the podcast make sure you guys subscribe to this channel as well as my main channel and watch the full episode which will be somewhere on the screen